Hi everyone, welcome back and today we've got some more Dragon Ball Super Card Game content for you to view. Uh, we're going to be opening up the new Instinct Surpassed starter deck for beginners uh, which came out uh, at the same time as the new Series 9 and uh, uh, cards which were just released and I'll I'm just going to give a quick shout out because uh, this uh, comes uh, from Collectible Cardtastic and Gamings. I always buy from them whenever I can because they have a really great range and ridiculous delivery times. Uh, so uh, we'll move on to uh, the back here and have a quick read of what they are saying. So awaken your leader card fast and aim for victory. Uh, play Ultra Instinct Son Goku Universe Impulse on turn two to awaken Son Goku and you can also return Ultra Instinct Son Goku Universal Impulse to your hand when your opponent plays a battle card and bring out Vegeta Steadfast Ally. This uh, Vegeta has 25,000 power so that's not bad for a starter deck and uh, has a blocker skill so making him a powerful threat on both offensive and defensive and Ultra Instinct Son Goku Hero of Universe 7's abilities are easy to use with a number of strategies so use this hero and show your opponent the might of Universe 7 that sounds pretty sweet and uh, there's our listed cards that are a part of this deck and I'll leave that in focus uh, for a quick second, but we are going to go through those um, individually anyway when we open this guy up. And then uh, this is the actual content here is uh, a ready to play 51 uh, card, uh, 51 card uh, deck and um, a rule manual and a play sheet. And this features uh, ST uh, rarity cards. So ones that you can only obtain through uh, this starter deck and um, a little bit of extra information here but uh, we don't really need to go through that because it's not anything I haven't already said and uh, that's it for the packaging so we'll get him opened up and uh, have a readout of those cards and uh, that'll be it for this one All right, well that's everything out of our box and uh, our cards are unwrapped. I've just quickly slipped uh, the leader card and paired up uh, the foils with their non-foil counterparts. And uh, before we get into the deck itself, uh, we'll have a quick look at our play mat. Um, I've always got a pretty interesting image on the front of them and I like to uh, check them out. And um, there we go unfolded and there we have it really awesome looking uh, picture of uh, Ultra Instinct Goku there doing a Kamehameha straight at you and uh, that's nice okay well uh, let's start reading out these cards and uh, starting off with our leader card here Beginning with our unawakened side of our leader card and it is a red leader. We've got Sun Goku and he has critical. So when this card inflicts damage to your opponent's life, they may they place that many cards in their drop area instead of their hand. And um has a Warrior of Universe 7 skill, so treat Universe 7 cards in all areas as if they had no specific cost. That's pretty awesome. And um his awakening is when uh, you have a Universe 7 card in play with 25,000 power or more, all your life is at 4 or less, you may draw two cards and flip this card over. So uh, two uh, different ways of awakening him uh, with that. And there we are on our awakened side, we've got Ultra Instinct Sun Goku, Hero of Universe 7, and that looks uh, really awesome, that image there. Um, once we've got it out of the packaging, we can have a close 
guys so look at it I'm done a really good job of that and uh, he carries on with that uh, critical skill and warrior of universe 7 on this uh, awakened side and it uh, has an order of when uh, this card attacks draw one card and then choose up to one universe 7 card in your battle area and it gets plus 5000 power for the duration of the turn so getting to draw a card and boost the power of one of your universe 7 cards um, that's a pretty powerful leader and we're going to put him up in the top left and uh, we'll start reading out our actual deck now all right so next up we have uh four energy cost red card friendly rival freezer and he's got auto if your leader card is red uh, when you combo with this card choose up to one red extra card from your deck and place it in your drop area and shuffle your deck and that might sound like a bad thing but a lot of those skills uh, come in handy for a st uh, for strategy and they've given us two of him uh, we'll place him over next to our Goku now we have our first dual colored card of the deck and it is a red blue uh, two energy cost ultra instinct Sun Goku universal impulse and uh, he has energy exhaust so if you place this card in the energy area from any area it must be placed there in rest mode and has an order of when you play this card it gets plus 10,000 power and you can't play non-universe 7 battle cards for the duration of the turn and uh, a second auto of when your opponent plays a battle card you may return this card to the owner's hand so another strategic one there and pretty OP as well and we've got two of him and moving on a second dual colored card and it is a red blue five energy cost super saiyan blue vegeta steadfast ally uh, with that blocker skill so uh, when one of your other cards is attacked you may uh, switch this card to rest mode and change the target of the attack to this card has energy exhaust and an auto of when one of your red blue multicolor card battle cards is removed from the battle area by a skill um, if super saiyan blue vegeta steadfast ally isn't in play in your battle area you may play this card from your hand so that's uh, another pretty strategic and powerful card just like the previous one and two of you all right we've got some more dual colored cards coming at you and uh, uh, it is a red blue four energy cost we're in this together with android 17 18 on our image as energy exhaust and an activate main of if your leader card is universe, a universe 7 card choose all of your opponent's battle cards with 25,000 power or less and KO them wow that's going to ruin some strategies uh, unless your opponent's got some pretty powerful cards out and uh, they have barrier they are going to get wiped from the field and has a second activate main so for one a red if your leader card is a universe 7 card add this card from your drop area to your hand and that's going to pair up nicely with that friendly rival freezer card which uh, uh, drops one uh, extra card from your deck into the drop area so reducing the cost of this uh, um, down to just one energy instead of having to pay that four if uh, go with that strategy and these cards seem to just get more and more powerful as we go through the deck two of that one all right we've got a one energy cost blue card a sensu bean and these come in really handy sometimes um, as an active battle skill so during your combo phase uh, choose up to one of your cards and it gains plus 5000 power for the duration of the turn and then uh, choose up to two of your energy and switch them to active mode and uh, doing what sensu bean does uh, recovering some energy and giving you a bit of a power boost and we've only got one of those Alright, we've got some counter cards now, so one energy cost, uh, red after image technique, and it's a counter attack, so uh, if your leader card is red, choose up to one of your cards and it gets 
plus 40,000 power for the duration of the battle. So that can uh, be your leader card as well, but it is only for that uh, single attack. And um, then uh, uh, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10,000 power for the duration of the turn. So uh, that's for the rest of the turn, that, that second one. And uh, has a permanent, so sparking five. So this skill takes effect when uh, you have five or more cards in your drop area. And uh, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand by adding a card from your life to your hand instead of paying its energy cost. Now that can come in handy as a last ditch effort. So if you've got the life to pay for it and you're dealing with something like a triple strike, got four of that guy. So another red card now and it has three energy cost. Uh, it is Tien Shinhan Spirit Venisher and um, it's got an activate main so choose two red and or blue extra cards in your hand and place them in your drop area and uh, play this card from your hand and an auto of when you play this uh, card choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier and it gets minus 20,000 power for the duration of the turn and that's pretty good also another way of getting um, that uh, we're in this together card into your drop area with that first uh, skill all right two of him So back to blue now and it is a one energy cost Krillin Battle Mastery and he's got an order of when you play this card look at up to seven cards from the top of your deck and choose up to one we are universe 7 tournament of power arena card or a red slash blue multicolor extra card among them and add it to your hand then shuffle your deck so this one's a card seeker and uh, two of as well another blue card and it is a three energy cost uh, Piccolo Namekian lineage and uh, he is a blocker so being able to redirect and attack this card uh, by putting him in rest mode uh, if you wish and has a permanent if, if you're uh, if you have four or more extra cards in your drop area, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two, so knocking him down to just one energy cost uh, if you have those required cards. And um, an auto of when uh, this card is KO'd, choose up to one red-blue multicolored extra card in your drop area and add it to your hand, so uh, being able to recover a multicolored card with the death of him. And we have two of that one. Uh, Android 17 next, so Android 17 Spirit Venisher, and he's a three energy cost red card with an activate main of choose two red or uh, um, blue extra cards in your hand and place them in the drop area and obey uh, this card from your hand and uh, has an order of when this card is KO'd or KO's an opponent's battle card. Choose up to one red slash blue multicolor extra card in your drop area or war and add it to your hand so we've been able to recover from the warp with that skill that's pretty powerful um, and also uh, strategically dropping cards to play this guy as well as recovering ones so uh, lots of good things with uh, him and we have two of those all right so another multicolor card and it's a red slash blue two energy cost beerus divine obliterator and it is a super combo, so no energy cost for that uh, plus 10,000 power when you combo. And um, has energy exhaust and an auto of if your leader card is red or blue and it's your opponent's turn. When you combo with this card from your hand, choose up to one of your red, uh, blue, multicolor energy and switch it into rest mode. Uh, that's a pretty nice combo and recover some energy with that guy and unfortunately we only get two of those normally you'll get four super combos in a deck that uh, we haven't done going through this uh, these cards yet so uh, there's might be another two in there to make up for that uh, we'll see okay we've got another extra card here so one energy cost 
Uh, red card, we are Universe 7, and this is one of the ones you can seek out with that Krillin Battle Mastery. Uh, it has an activate main, so choose one, and uh, you can choose up to one Universe 7 card from the drop area and add to your hand, or you can choose up to one Universe 7 card with an energy cost of four or less from your deck and add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck. So it's a card seeker and we get four of that one. And it looks like I was right about our super combos for this deck. Uh, here is the second half of it. Two energy cost, uh, red, uh, backbone of universe, seven sun, Goku. And um, you can only include up to uh, four cards with super combo on them in your deck. And he has an order of when you combo with this card, if your leader card is universe seven and you have five or less life, draw one card and this card gains plus 10,000 combo power for the duration of the turn. So uh, it does have zero combo power listed there, but when you meet those conditions, uh, you get that 10,000 um, from the super combo and two of him um, to go with our Beerus. Alright, well it looks like we're adding some yellow to this deck. Uh, it is some more defense. Uh, we've got a one energy cost yellow master Roshi forged of will uh, counter attack, so negate the attack and then play this card. Uh, and we have four of him. Alright, so back to some blue, and we've got a three energy cost card, a uh, focused mind, Sun Gohan, uh, with barrier, so this card cannot be chosen by the skills of your opponent's cards, and it has an activate main, uh, once per turn, look up to seven cards from the top of your deck, and choose up to one universe seven among them, and you may play that card by paying its energy cost, and then shuffle your deck, that's very nice, seeking out and playing a card. Four of him. Okay, we've got another powerful card uh, for this deck. So, four energy cost, blue card, multi-form Tian Shinhan. And he has a permanent of uh, this card. Loses minus 5,000 power for each Tian Shinhan in your battle area or combo area. So, uh, avoid doing that if you want him to stay at that power level. Um, has an order of when you play this card, if your leader card is Universe 7, uh, you may place one card from your hand in your drop area, and uh, if you do so, choose up to three multi-form Tian Shin Hans from your deck and play them, and shuffle your deck. Uh, so, if you do choose to do that, you will minus uh, the power of those cards, but uh, it will stack your field and four of him all right we're almost done and they've thrown in another color to this deck so we've got a bit of green uh, three energy cost infinite energy Android 18 and uh, she has an auto of at the end of the battle uh, after you combo with this card from your hand if your leader card is universe 7 play this card in rest mode so getting a combo uh, with this card uh, for one energy cost and then uh, being able to play it after you have finished doing so and we get four of her all right we've got the last extra card for this deck and it is a one energy cost yellow card but not requiring a specific uh, energy color to play uh, it has a permanent of this card gains universe seven in all areas so tying in with our leader card and uh has an activate main and look it up to seven cards uh, from the top of your deck and choose up to one universe seven among them and add it to your hand then shuffle your deck so a uh, final card seeker and we have four of that all right well here it is our last card for the deck and it is just a single card 
two energy cost red uh, hidden power east supreme kai and he has an auto of when you combo with this card she's up to one of your attacking cards and against double strike so inflicting two damage instead when attacking for the duration of the battle uh, one energy to combo with and uh, there we have it uh, uh, i would probably gut two of uh, these um, starters uh, if you're interested in uh, building a ultra instinct uh, deck um, uh, because uh, a lot of these cards would be really great if you had a full play set um, but uh, I hope you liked the video and until next time enjoy the rest of your day